I was looking for like a place to stand. I saw this ad. This is a real ad I saw a number of years ago in New York. The ad was like, uh, looking for a roommate to share my West Village loft for only five dollars a month. <laughs> Weird. Right. Um, it's like that's probably a catch. Right? I'm like street smart. Um, so, <laughs> so I opened it up and I, I'm paraphrasing, but basically it was like looking for a roommate to share my spacious, light-filled West, West Village loft for only five dollars a month. All you need to do is be a super attractive female in your twenties. <laughs> Just keep the place sparkling clean. <laughs> Wearing nothing but your panties at the time. I'm like, oh, well, there's your catch, right? Because I'm a slob. <laughs> sparkling, come on. <laughs> Tidy at best, I mean, is my thing. But my question about that was, why isn't it free? <laughs> What's this fee, sir? <laughs> Pervert's got utilities too. It's a weird amount of money. You know, sounds like a frappuccino. Um, that's what you want in addition to. So I uh, moved out to LA. I, I, I moved out because I love TV and I want to get into TV. Uh, by the way, thanks for coming out tonight. You guys are awesome for being here. Yeah, you guys are super cool to support live comedy. Yeah, but did you know that TV's on right now? It's happening. Great. TV's amazing. I love it. So I moved out to LA because they have the biggest TVs there in the stores. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been pitching shows left and right. Um, one of my one of my ideas is kind of off that. I you know that show called uh, So You Think You Can Dance? I didn't pronounce it right. It's like So You Think You Can Dance. That's the, I think the way you're supposed to say it. Um, I, I have I have kind of like a similar idea for it. it's a contest show, and it's called um, Do You Think It's a Dance? That's what it is. Uh, and what basically what happens is somebody gets on stage and they do like a movement, you know? And the contestants have to guess whether or not they think it's a dance, or maybe the person's having a stroke, or if they need help, you know. So we're in talks with Japan about how that high stakes, you know. Um, and then oh I have another one, it's called it's just called so, so you think you can prance. And that's for you know, horses. Or your your, your Mule or whatever. Um, so that's a really good. Idea. Maybe he's got. He thinks he can prance, and he's got like a kid at home, a horse kid. We, we can talk. We can talk about it. There's any industry here tonight. Uh, but oh, my favorite show right now on TV. Uh, if anybody's seen it, is called Ancient Aliens. Yes. Has anyone seen the show? Yeah. Always so go cool. So fans of that show, if you've never seen it, for the uninitiated, what it is, it's um, it's on the History Channel. And it's a series of, of documentaries about these incredible connections between aliens from outer space and ancient cultures on Earth that are 100% hand to God made up. It's all, it's all, it's all fake, it's fake stuff. Um, and I think my favorite thing about the show is the way that they like just gloss over facts. Um, they get in the way of the theory. Like one I watched recently was about how Mayans were visited by aliens that gave them the gift of flight. So, Mayans were just flying all over the place. And, um, and then the evidence that they had was this little gold statue of an insect and um, made by the Mayans. And then they had an expert who was like, this gold statue dates back to over 2,000 years. Many people believe it to be of an insect. <laughs> but I'd like to point out, if you were to remove the antenna and the eyes, as well as the legs. It would look a lot like one of our modern jet planes. <laughs> like, oh my God. It would if bugs didn't exist, right? Those things that look like tiny airplanes with eyes and kind of legs that we see. Also, those things you mentioned that are on the statue, unfortunately, sir, are on the statue. They're not optional at all. They're not velcroed on in the minds of have that. They're there, right? <laughs> like, I have a theory um, that I developed that Stone Stonehenge used to be a mall. <laughs> Think about it. If you were to remove the Stonehenge and put in a mall, <laughs> it would look just like a mall. <laughs> in fact, it would, it would be a mall. It would be a mall. We should probably make it a mall, uh, just for good measure. Um, 
the mall, so you guys are probably like, did she used to work in fashion? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Uh, nobody was thinking that, that's fine. <laughs> Somebody thought that about me. I am, a, I am a veteran in the fashion industry. I worked at a very fancy boutique in New York for a number of years. It's not very good at my job. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't really take it seriously. Um, well, I don't know if you guys know this about fashion, but it's not important. Um, like, like to the world, I think, is the big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, one time I made this woman so mad that she stormed out of the store that I was working in. But in fairness to me, she had a very thick Scottish accent. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be great. You look a little bit and sound a lot like Groundskeeper Willie, so it's gonna be like, such a good time. Um, she was really mad at me, and she yelled at me, but it was still delightful, you know, because she was Scottish. <laughs> so she's like storming out, and she's at the door, and she's like, you just lost that customer. So like, hey. part of me was waiting for her to come back and be like, well, you gained the friends. <laughs> So what do you guys, you guys uh, cat people or what? Cat people? No. Cat people? Dog person? That means you're half dog, dude. Who jokes on you? What? That's, that's a terrible thing to do. I don't know how to do crowd work. You like dogs better? You have dogs? No? You just like them? What, what do you know, man? Come on, give me a chance. Do you have any fish? No? Do you have like any diseases? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know something about him over there? I heard he met you. Like that guy. That guy has a. And then I didn't hear anything. <laughs> that guy is a friend. <laughs> you said syphilis. I heard it. I'm not gonna think that guy knows you. I'm a cat person. I'm a cat person. I, I love cats. I just adopted two cats from a shelter in LA, and um, it's great. I, well, I got one of them, and then I got the second one, because I was like, I gotta get another one of these guys. And, um, and um, <laughs> so I went to the cat shelter where I got the first one, and this lady was there, and she was like, so you just neutered him? Okay, so you're gonna wanna wait a little bit, because it's gonna be traumatic, just surgery. You don't wanna bring another cat into that situation, so you're gonna have to wait. I was like, okay. I came back a month later and I was like, can I get that second cat? And, uh, and there was a different lady and she was like, um, okay, who told you to wait? <laughs> Is it Mindy? Okay, yeah, she doesn't know anything. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna be here all the time now because the only thing better than adopting adorable cats from a cat shelter is infighting at a cat shelter. <laughs> Serious? Definitely. Absolutely, yes. I was like looking around at the cats, one of them was like, Rawr! and I was like, I, I know, right? 